I'm getting some air out of the loop now. And uh, what I do is here I'm going to rock the case forward. Not enough to get the pump dry, okay. So you don't want to let it snatch that air. You just want this to have a chance to get some bubbles out of that top radiator without snatching that air bubble there. Okay, and then we tilt it back. And it chases the air through all the loopity loops. And some little bursts. Little overcast this morning, hard to see. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I had a comment on uh, one of the videos about why I didn't go from here, you know to here in a straight shot, which obvious, you know, it's obvious this would be the connection you'd want to make, not this. But this is too long. Can't do that. Same thing with this, you know, why not just use a 90, pipe it straight up, another 90, pipe it straight over, you know, kink, kink, kink. Client didn't want any 90s, he wanted quick disconnects on the CPU block. And by the way I arranged it, you only need three quick disconnects, okay? This is the one that goes up to here to the CPU. Then the GPUs and the CPU share one. And then for draining the reservoir and disconnecting the GPU, they share one. So it's an efficient way to make everything work out. Now as you can see by the way the reservoir has gotten a larger air volume in it, okay, it's probably time to add some more fluid. I don't know why my camera's it's an out. Probably the wind from this fan is throwing it up. Let me show you a nice. Oh, yeah. That's what I call totally beautiful water blocks. I love Delrin, Acetyl Palm, whatever you want to call it. It's gorgeous on those backing plates. Very nice. Much better than the stock ATI ones. And that's some pretty RAM. Yes, it is.